New at five, no doubt many of you have already received your ballot for the election on November 3rd. And if you don't want to mail your completed ballot in, you can always drop it off in a ballot drop box. And tonight, NBC 4's Gordon Tokamatsu is going to show us how what is being done right now to make sure that that ballot that you drop in the box is actually secure. One thing we noticed right away as we watched voters walk up to this drop off box in Inglewood. Is that everyone had a bit of trouble with the hinge slot at first? There you go. It only took a second, though, for 82-year-old Johnny Love to figure it out. First time I voted with the box, why well, take the chance? Johnny's like many of us, a lifelong voter who's opting for the box instead of dropping his ballot in the mail or going to a polling place in person. COVID-19 still a very real threat. Voters like Andrew Murillo told us this was a no-brainer. Instead of having to go inside and wait in line and potentially get sick. If you go to lavote.net, you can find a map showing more than 400 drop boxes in L.A. County alone. Just put in your address and chances are good there's one nearby. And if you're a Metro bus or train user, the agency is placing the boxes at 19 stations all around the county. They're also offering free rides all day long just to encourage people to get out and vote. And in case you're wondering, these things are really kind of like mini fortresses. They are bolted to the sidewalk and nearly impossible to move. Also, if you look closely at that hinge slot, you'll see that there's almost no room for tampering. It's only an inch or two tall, and a series of baffles keeps someone from reaching inside. We're talking military grade uh, for the drop boxes. Secretary of State Alex Padilla recently spoke with our Lolita Lopez about security for the boxes. Right now, ballots are being collected every 72 hours, but pickups will increase in the next few weeks. On election day, the boxes officially close at 8 p.m. It's not one single elections uh, official uh, that can uh, pick up ballots and transport them. Padilla points out that multiple people are involved in that pickup process, a system of checks and balances designed to defeat fraud. I'm a little iffy about it, but hopefully nothing will happen. Johnny told us after more than 60 years of voting, he welcomes this new option, just as long as he's sure his vote will be counted. In Inglewood, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.